Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In a series of videos we will teach you how you can use Excel in business. In this tutorial it's a complete introduction for beginners on how to use Excel in general. So without any further delay let's get into it. So this is Excel and this is how it looks like. It's composed of a bunch of cells and each cell is represented of an intersection between a column and a row. So if for example I clicked on any of these cells and I checked this text box on the top left you will find a combination of a letter and and the number. The letter represents the column and the number represents the, the, the row itself. Now I'm going to start filling some data so let's try to fill data of our net sales per year. So for example I'm going to insert the date on the first column and the number of sales in the second column. And you can see that it has been extended to beyond the cell so if I want to expand the column to accommodate the full cell or the full text I can go to the separation between the two columns then double click on it and it will just expand automatically and now I'm going to insert the first month which is June J Jan 2024 and now if you want to insert the rest of the data you sh you don't have to completely or manually insert each one of these cells but you can just go to the first to the first cell and drag it to the last month just like this and anything that has a pattern Excel will understand it and will complete it by just dragging to the bottom and now I'm going to insert the number of sales from another sheet just like that and now if you want to do some formatting to these numbers we can do it by going to the this comma simple where by clicking on it you will find that you added a separation to your number and if you want to do it exactly the same thing to the below cells if I dragged to the bottom it will not only copy the format but only copy the number so if I want to just copy the format I can undo and then I click I can click on format painter then after selecting I can go to the bottom just like this and it will just copy the format and now if I want to remove this decimals after the number I can just right click on my number then I can go to format cells and now I will be able to format anything related to my cell w uh, either it's just the content or the alignment the font border and more so I'm going to the number and I'm going to choose the type of data as number and reduce the decimal places into zero and by clicking on ok you will find that it has disappeared then I'm going to click again on format painter and paste the format into the below cells so this is basically how you can control the formatting of your cells however there is also something which is called conditional formatting which indicates some colors that can help you to visualize your you visualize your data so if for example I chose all my data and I went to conditional formatting and connect and just clicked on it you will find many rules that you can use to separate your data by color so for example if I chose to know the top month of these of these months so that I can know which months I achieved the highest net sales I can go to top or bottom rules and choose top for example top 10 items then I'm going to reduce this 10 into just one item and I'm going to choose the color as green fill with dark green text and now you can see that the top month is here May 2024 again you can do any type of conditional formatting you want so for example you can use color scale so that you can arrange your data from top to bottom based on specific colors so if I chose this first one you can see from the legend itself that the green color is the top and the red is the bottom and here we can see that it's applied correctly the top is May and the bottom is Jan perfect now if you want to insert any type of data you want you can go to the insert tab here where you will find anything you want to insert like tables like pictures shapes or even charts so in this case I'm going to highlight my data and click on insert table and now it will ask me if my table has headers since it has headers I'm going to check this one and click on OK and now it has turned into a table so to use this table you can uh, go to table design and you can control how it looks like so you can change how it looks like from this table style box 
you can also add a total for this table by highlighting your table and click on auto sum and now it will add a cell for the auto sum of the table you can also click on this drop down menu to change the equation or the format so I want if I want to instead of getting the sum I want to get the average I can click on average here and it will give me the average of my net sales per month per year so I'm going to get it back to sum and let's suppose that you forgot to add December and you want to add it so you can click on this row and click on insert then now it will add a new row and if I clicked on any number for example it will add it to the total or the sum of my table perfect now if you want to visualize your data better you can use charts so I can now select my table and I can go to insert then choose to insert charts here we have multiple types of charts like pie chart line chart or even bar chart and I can choose any one of them or I can simply go to recommended charts where Excel will analyze my data and give me the type of charts that will that can be used for this type of data so I can now insert a line chart for example and this is how it looks like it will give you a chart between the total number of sales with the year with the months of the year so you can use insert tab to insert all of these elements however if you want to insert an equation you can do it from three different places you can do you can go to equation here where you will be able to insert any type of equation from these preset equations however if you want to insert a formula like summation or subtraction formulas it's done by going to formulas here where you will be able to insert a function from this button you will decide what type of function you want for example if I want to add a submission for the first qu quarter of my sales of the year I can go to the sum click on OK and now it will ask me about the numbers I want to sum so I am going to choose the first three cells just like this and now it has summed it and now it has made my submission successfully another way you can do your formulas is by just clicking on or writing the symbol equal and then it will give you an option to start creating a, a, a formula so I'm going to write sum and you can also see that it helps you with a drop-down menu so that if you don't know the formula it you can guess it from the drop-down menu now I'm going to open a brackets and I'm going to choose the first three the first three months close the bracket and now it got me the same number so this is pretty much it and this is how easy you can use Excel sheet as a beginner uh, you just need to know how to format your cells you need to know how to insert an equation you need to know how to insert things that visualize your data like tables and charts so if you're interested in more in-depth discussion and explanation for other advanced topics like pivot tables for example and sort and filter make sure to subscribe to our channel because this is gonna be our next topic thank you so much for watching and see you in more tutorials until then take care and goodbye